In this video, we are going to understand about histograms. Let us say you are given the age group of various cricketers in India. And you are given as to how many cricketers are playing within that age group. And you are told to prepare a graph for them, a bar graph for them. Now when you do that, So let's say you take intervals and let's say instead of 0 the starting point is 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 and the frequency starts like 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, Okay. So now, what is the interval 20 to 25, which covers basically? Let me use uh, this portion. And what's the frequency? The frequency here is 45, which is here. So basically, So this is what I have in terms of the first histogram. Now the second one which basically I have is 25 to 30 which is this portion and the frequency is 35. So 35 comes here. Okay. Right. Let me use the third one. 30 to 35. Frequency 55. So this is what it is, 55 is here, I draw this graph like this, so the area covered by this basically is thirty to thirty-five. Okay, let's use this, or maybe a green color. So thirty-five to forty, the frequency is forty-five, forty-five, thirty to forty. Right? Then 40 to 45, the frequency is 40. Okay, let me use another color. Purple this time. 40 to 45, the frequency is 40. Now you will not have the luxury of having all these different colors as you prepare your graphs, but this is just more to give you kind of an idea. Now, what I can also do is that this 20 to 25 graph basically represents 45 students. So what I can do is I might as well write 45 here. 25 to 30, 35. 55, 45, 40. So what I have done is I have plotted the respective frequency against the respective bar graphs. Now let me use an eraser to remove whatever I have done on the table. Okay. Okay. Now let's see how does the histogram, this is basically called a histogram wherein you have bars, there is no interval between, there is no gap between two bars when the height of the bars is given here at the top of this thing. The graphical representation in this manner is called the histogram. But you will ask me, what is the use of this histogram? Let us see. If suppose someone were to ask you which is the age group that has maximum number of cricketers. Now can you see this graph and find it out? very easily. This graph is the highest so therefore this age group which is 30 to 35 has the maximum number of cricketers. Right? 
Suppose second question. How many cricketers are above 30 years and equal? Meaning, either they are 30 years or more than 30 years. So which are the graphs which appear on the 30 and 35 side? We do this, this and this. So you can just simply do a sum of these three and you get 140 as the answer. So there are 140 cricketers in all who are 30 years and above. So this is the way you use these histograms to find solutions to various problems.